My name is Barbara Streisand, and I don't know if I could do this in two minutes. <laughs> Will they send a hook or go in the floor or something? Anyway, um, I'd like to say a few words about women's heart disease and gender discrimination. I can't bear the inequality that exists when it comes to women, and women's heart disease is no different. Heart disease, first of all, is the number one killer of men and women in the world. It's killing more women than men now. Heart disease kills more women than all cancers combined. What was once thought to be a man's disease is now has become a woman's epidemic. In fact, one out of every two women in this room will experience some form of cardiovascular disease in their lifetime. But in the last 50 years, the, um, the research has primarily been done on men. Even though women have a different physiology, they have different plumbing, uh, they have a smaller vascular system, which requires different analysis. Very little money is spent on women, uh, even though nearly 500,000 women died last year of heart disease. Heart attack symptoms present differently in women. Uh, instead of chest pain or a tingling in the left arm, women can have, uh, might feel nauseous or fatigued but don't get scared, women, because the altitude might be the cause of that here. <clears throat> women are dying because they are being undertreated and misdiagnosed by their physicians. And that's why I joined forces with the Women's Heart Center at Cedar sinai in Los Angeles to study heart disease and how it affects women. It's funny how um, females always seem to help males, even female stem cells, now, the doctor who is the head of, of the center, Dr. Noel Barry Mares, told me this story about a woman doctor who recently grew the first human heart, and it's beating. And she had a breakthrough in her study when she found out that using only female stem cells was the solution. Why? Because male stem cells didn't work. They got lost. <laughs> and this is true. They got totally lost, like in life, you know? And it figures, right? Because we know men, even male stem cells, won't ask for directions. And this is true, but joking aside, I mean, for every woman that dies of breast cancer, 12 women will die of heart disease. But because breast cancer pioneers built a movement that educated the public, and funded life-altering research, breast cancer is no longer a death sentence. And we need to learn from them. This is a turning point for women's heart disease. What's past is past. It's now time to change the present. So look into your heart. We need your help, your ideas, your support in order to give your mothers, daughters, sisters, wives, friends, and yourself a longer and healthier life. Thank you. If you want more information, Cedar sinais Women's Heart Center in Los Angeles. Thank you.